Grandstream was very nice to send me this Wi-Fi 6 access point last year. I have two of them. I bought one because I didn't know if they were going to send me one. And then one showed up. They sent me my 7... What is that thing? Uh, GWN 7... 7002 router that I've been using too. Love it. WireGuard works really well on it. And then they said to me, is there anything you want to try out? And I said, I don't know, surprise me. So they sent me a Wi-Fi 6E heavy, very heavy access point and their new little PoE eight port switch. Now, I'm not gonna plug this in and try it today, nor am I going to show you guys how to work this because I don't have any Wi-Fi 6E devices to test it on. I did plug it in. I've had it for about a month and it works very well. It's also metal. Probably because it gets really hot. It's got a lot of RF output. The 7662 is Wi-Fi 6. It's all plastic, works just fine. But the new one, the 7665, the Wi-Fi 6E, plastic on the front, so it can work with Wi-Fi properly and radiate. But the back is very thick metal and it does get warm, yes, because it radiates and has a lot of RF output for um, Wi-Fi 6. Does it work well? Very. But I can't really test it to its full maximum potential because I just don't have anything that's Wi-Fi 6E. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a second. We got the Wi-Fi 6E card in. I put it into this spare box that I have here on my desk and I did some speed tests. Speed tests on this machine have been very, very consistent. Getting 870 megabits per second down and 690 up. Look at that. Now that is pretty sweet. The access point is actually in my bedroom because I mounted it in the ceiling there to uh, see how good it's going to be when I move around the house and stuff like that. And across the house, that's what I'm getting on. Probably not going to see this because I can't zoom in. Wi-Fi 6E connected. And if we go like this, we can go to our speed that's connected at. Six gigahertz. 2,402 megabits per second connected. I'm pretty happy with that. Now, I did have some trouble getting this working, but I figured it out. It was actually an old install of Windows 10 that I left on the box that wasn't updated. So I did a fresh install of Windows 11, and now connected at six gigahertz on the 802.11ax with my, not this one, but the new access point pretty happy with that. Now, let's get back to talking about Switch. I'm going to talk about this little guy. And it looks like it's got eight one gig ports. Four are PoE and four are not. And I believe this thing has, um, how many watts was this? I have to look it up. Maybe I'll look in the manual here. <clears throat> what was it that it had for PoE power? Port one up to 30 watts. Port two to four. Oh, okay, so it's not. Okay, I see how, you know, how they're doing this. It's 30 watts for the first port, number one, right here. And then the rest of them are 15. So if you need something that's needing some power, these don't really take much power, hardly anything at all, even if they're on Wi Fi 6E and they're broadcasting up full power and RF and a whole bunch of things plugged into them. What really would take power would be a PTZ camera. That's kind of nice how they did one port that's got more power though. Maybe they could put something on the front here to say like a marker, but that'd be kind of nice. <clears throat> so I've been using this in my lab. I do have mine plugged in over there. It works great. I do like when this came to my house that I was able to just turn it sideways. They actually rotate off real quick and pull out 
and just swap it out. Meaning they were thinking when they were making these devices that people who already have these devices and they want to upgrade, maybe not this year, maybe next year, or maybe later on, they can just turn and take them off and put the new one on there without changing the bracket, changing the mounts and anything like that. Some devices out there you buy, you have to change the mounting, you have to change the holes, put more holes in the wall or in the roof or wherever they're mounted. These ones, nope, just off real quick. And I like how that when they're working, they're not very bright. I mean, I mean, most access points now, <coughs> you can turn off the actual light so people aren't getting blinded in the middle of the night or in there in the hallway. They're not really bright and annoying. Maybe the wife proof factor there. Sometimes women don't like to see bright lights and stuff like that, depending on where they're mounted and stuff. So you can turn off the, um, the lights. But for now, if you have any questions, comments, anything like that, <coughs> let me know below. And uh, when I get my new adapter, I'll do some more testing. I'll go outside and do some more uh, testing to make sure that it's not just me inside a small little room. And we'll go from there. So, you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later.